This is uh Nebulizer here with you with Nebarts. <laughs> Alright, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get flares like that, like that, onto your Photoshop documents, uh custom and whatnot. A lot of people have been telling me that I wasn't doing my graphics like real or whatever, and I'm gonna be doing a YouTube background, uh whatever from scratch. Um, speed art. I have my first one right there. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's that. Alright, so you're gonna go over here, and, uh, I'm working on this one right here. Alright, you're gonna wanna go to wherever. Alright, my bad. You're gonna go wanna go to google.com. Then, you're gonna want that to load up. You're gonna type in images, and then you're gonna type in flares photoshop and all right uh, a lot of these aren't going to be good ones i mean but whatever i'm just going to show you guys how to do it you look through here find a flare that you guys want i don't really care whatever one you guys want is your decision i'm going to pick this one right here and you're just going to hit copy image you're going to go to your photoshop you're going to hit file you're going to hit open you can go to your desktop actually whatever I'm not even gonna do that I'm just gonna go uh, file new and we'll start this thing right off alright alright after that you're gonna click edit and then you're gonna click paste and voila there's your flare and uh if you guys want to see like on a background you just same thing you doing your flares or whatever you just click pay click paste um see this layer comes up now you gotta go to edit and you're gonna want to click free transform that allows you to like make it bigger or make it smaller you can twist it i'm gonna show you it right here oh my bad where'd that go edit. I don't know what happened there. Whatever. Uh, you're gonna want to click edit and then free transform again, and you're gonna drag it right there. And as you can see, that's that. And obviously, it doesn't go because this is gonna be an orange background. But um, as you can see, it does work. And then you would just say twist this like that, move that like. Th that and if you had a blue background you could uh, take your magic wand tool uh, whatever we'll apply it and uh, click that and then hit layer via cut and then you'd delete this layer right here that you just put in yes you take your layer 23 with the arrow button and you can move it. See, that was a terrible magic wand. I don't know what happened there. It's this little thing. All right, um, but that's that. Sorry, guys. I uh, just one of my friends. Well, a few of my friends actually were wondering how you get like. I know a lot of people are actually like looking how to get flares. And um, actually, if you go to YouTube, um, if you see, I downloaded my flares right here. Um, I have like all of these ones, so I have different colors and whatnot, but those are those. Um, go to YouTube and hold on. Wait for this to load, and you can just type in uh, Photoshop once it loads again. Photoshop um flare pack right there I see and you can look for these optical flares uh I got this one right here I got this flare pack and that's the one with like 20 of them in there and you can just have a blast guys remember use that magic wand otherwise it looks terrible um please thumbs up comment subscribe uh hopefully i'll be making my way up there <laughs> also i'm gonna do a call out for uh tony i love you tony bye see you guys